know the difference. People do often mix up multiples and factors. Here is a quick way uh, that can help you to remember the difference between them. Trick. So when you think of multiples, oops, right there. When you think of multiples, M for multiples, you think many. Okay, there are many, 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 many multiples. So for the example, the multiples of uh, 5, or well, starts with 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so on and so on and so on. There's many, many multiples. Whereas you think of the factors, the factors, so if I'm to write over here, just the F, F there, the factors, well, they're just uh, a few. And when you consider the number five, I mean, they're really only very few because the factors of five are one and Five. So, factors, few, multiples, many. So let's consider this one. Well, let's look at factors of six. So if I remember the little rule, okay, factors of six, and I know factors are dealing with few. So only a few of them. So, well, one times six gives us six, and two times three gives a six. So there's just the few factors of six. However, if I'm dealing with multiples, multiples of six, I mean, unless someone asks me a question, unless someone actually says how many multiples are required, I can just keep going simply by adding six every single time. Okay, so the multiples will be many and they'll keep on going. That's the key difference. One more example, you think of 12 again. Well, so we go factors of 12. Again, remembering factors, few. There's a few of them. So I'm thinking, well, 1 goes into 12, 12 times. 2 is a factor. Let's get them six times, and six is a factor, three, and then four. Okay, so there are a few factors of 12. Going back to think about multiples, because multiples I'm dealing with many. And if someone doesn't actually tell me in the question how many multiples they are after, I'll have to keep on going forever. Because we start on 12, 24, 36, and we simply keep adding 12 like this. In fact, most questions involving multiples will simply state, please list the first three multiples, four multiples, or five multiples. So hopefully you remember that when we're talking about factors, we're just talking about a few numbers. But then when we're dealing with multiples, okay, we're dealing with many. So hopefully you don't get confused next time you see a question involving factors and multiples.